Hello, hello. Um, this is me directly from Piazza um, Piazza Pace from Cremona, and here this is Piazza Pace. When uh, in the night time there are a lot of bars here around. Over there, there you can see the cathedral. Okay, and here is also the Albergo Impero and not very far away just over there at the main square there is the statue of Stradivari and we are now going to visit Daniele Tonarelli in Via Beltrami in this nice painted palace here and we're going to um, visit Daniele in this uh, in his workshop. Daniele is a, a, a maker very particular since he started to make instruments at a very, very young age. Prego, prego. At a very young age, probably with uh, 12, 13 years, he started to work already and uh, finished the violin making school. And when he was 18, 19 years old, he started already to have his own workshop. and. Uh, here, the, here are the windows from Daniele, okay, inside he will, I hope he's going to open for us, okay, and he's a, a nice guy and I'm having lunch with him, actually, uh, very, very often, uh, without the coronavirus, certainly I have it, um, um, I have lunch always with him, but right now he is busy with his kids working and all this. Let's hear if he's going to open up. Yep, okay, he's immediately opening up. Hello. Ciao Daniele! Ne, eccoci qua! Come va? Che bello! Ne, aspetta! Aspetta, ti do subito un microfono. Oops, sorry. Here, a microphone. Microphone. We are having here a long distance. Um, Just probably... Um, it's okay here? It's perfect. Perfect. Mm? I think that's very good. You can walk and I will come... We are connected uh, now. Usually we talk Italian, but oggi facciamolo. In so English. Ci sono già sette persone. Already, okay, very good. I'm not very good in, in, in taking a very stable... Uh, I don't have a, a gimbal or things like this. Wow, this is just nice here. I have to make it a little bit better here in order that you can see it. Nice, hold on, sorry. Okay. I just make like this straight and then we can see it better here. This is very nice. Wow, so many diplomas. And it's, so it's, many diplomas, I'm old. Seems like you, you painted it even, or what? It, from the last time I was here, or is so No, no, so no, nothing changed. Nice. You were really cleaned up, better than me, huh? Okay. Definitely, wow, so nice, huh? Welcome nice. in my workshop. Very good, huh? Okay, so I close the door here, yes. Yeah, it's just... Probably it's better, It's right? okay. It's sufficient. Uh, okay, that's Don't great. Worry. Now this isn't something, huh? So I hope you let's let's make it a little bit this way, that we have it like this. You can see that we Hello. are connected here with cables and uh, things like this, and we keep a certain distance in order that you can see our faces. I actually I, I started from my workshop and then okay. I saw all the people looking at me and I thought what is going on? I forgot my mask, you know. Like, oh my god. To... <laughs> <laughs> okay. But here we are in, inside and we have long distance, two yes. meter. No, this is uh, the cable. I take like the meter three for, for check it. No, ah, you also have okay. the temperature. Uh, I okay. have, I have. I have to, to take you. Yes, we see, I also we do see it. If Edgar has something or not. No, it's okay. I'm a cool guy. 36.5. It's perfect. Huh? Very good. Um, so... Everything good, guys? Welcome in my workshop. Hope you like it. And the yes. show here is where the people coming inside. I have 
not so many instruments ready because after the lockdown <laughs> I have to finish uh, some but I have almost ready two violin one uh, Ole Bull model and one uh, Cannone model yeah that after I, I show you where I, I work normally here is just to, to meet the, the, the customer the people the player play the, the violin here and uh, yes I have here it's only the case Violin cases. case. And on the sofa you are sleeping when you have a yes, uh, night shift? Yes, half of the day I sleeping on my sofa. <laughs> so you have to know that we are good friends. We even share the hotel room when we are in, in, in Shanghai or in Beijing. And uh, yeah, so we know a lot of each other. Huh? And uh, Daniele is famous no. that he has <laughs> long, long night shifts, you know, <laughs> working for very long. He's a tough guy. When I met him and he was a youngster, uh, about 20 years old, and I was a youngster as well, 30 years, he was working like, he started to work at 11 o'clock in, uh, in the morning and then he worked until 2, 3 o'clock in the, uh, something like this. It was really a different timetable. Now he has two children, nice family, nice wife, great home, everything made together with his father, the entire house, everything outside of Cremona. A lot of work eh, making the house, <laughs> too much. I made, it's okay, but I, not, not for the, the, the future. Uh-huh, okay. Was sufficient, what they did. And now with the coronavirus, he actually stops working at like three or something, or four even, and then he's going home to make um, school and then uh, checks what his kids are doing exactly, exactly with, his, uh, with all the exercises and things like this. Online yeah. lesson and everything. I just spoke no, with my, just, my son. I'm sorry <laughs> that the, the camera is so unstable. I, I, I promise that when I, I'm, uh, shops are open, I will go and get a gimbal. This is an old stick, a selfie stick which is a different way of getting things a little bit uh, done okay and now i think we have it just in my hand it's a little bit lighter for me okay wow so uh, and Edgar, we have to be in in, in beijing now I don't know Was the, it's the first day no today would be the first day would yes. be the, the first day yes and then uh yeah thursday friday saturday and sunday last day which is actually but we found the solution, no? we, we can meet here no? on YouTube, it's the same thing. <laughs> Not exactly the Not same, the same. <laughs> and, and but I, we have to think that it's the same, okay? Yeah, I even wanted to have somebody playing my violin, but Cremona is, is, is weak with musicians. I just found only Marco Mauro, uh, who is going to play tomorrow morning a little bit, a few cellos, so I can okay. show you a little bit. Would have been nice if, if Lena Yokohama could have played my violin, but she's busy and uh, she only has time when I don't have time. So, <laughs> so we will see how we can make it happen, huh? But no problem. Here. What is this cello over there? Uh, so this is a cello of my friend. I think it's an English cello. An English show cello. You. Oh, okay. Come on, come on. Oh, no, just uh, we can I, I never just saw take this it. one. Before, okay. Now you never see. Okay. This English probably Hill family. Yeah. Someone said to me in, in in England that is more expert about me about the English instrument. But it's nice. It's a little uh, small one. It's like uh, seven eight. Okay. Okay. I have a problem that the neck is long. Ah, so probably they, someone in the past uh, adapting the the the. The, the neck like a full-size cello okay. but I think that we make a new probably we make a new neck shorter or more than the normal okay. and everything will be better also the position for the player and because now it's not there is something and I think the sound can to be very good with uh -huh. a new neck uh, short a little shorter because now it's really long it's one centimeter uh, 0.5 longer Hold the, on, I will go and he keeps it a little bit and we just show here a little bit the scroll, a little bit of this one, turn it a little bit. Oh, it's interesting, huh? It looks... It's interesting, yes. I don't know if yes. I can say that, but it looks sexy, I would say. But I don't know if this is allowed to say words like this. I think YouTube. it's 70 century, yeah. Uh-huh, has something, yeah. It has a certain... At it's least really when I came in, it, it seemed like to be the... No, not, not the Stradivari, the Mara, which is on the poster above, but it had something interesting, a nice shape. 
I think we'll, we'll play very, very well because uh -huh. it's already a good sound, but uh, I repeat, need the, the, some adjustment uh, about the neck and uh, something and after the sound, it's very antique sound, uh, very good. Nice. Our but usually same you make friend, them... uh, Nele from Spain, give me. Ah, okay. Nele. This for adjust. Uh -huh. He wants that I adjust the sound. <laughs> okay. Like I know. <laughs> Certainly. But it's very interesting. You can move easily. I, I come along with the cable, huh? You don't have to worry about me. And okay. Daniele. That's and, nice. Uh, so, uh, Daniele, I said already, you started making with 12 years, 13 years. How, how old were you when you started? No, I, I was 15. 15. Ah, okay. Sorry, sorry. Many said, years okay. ago. Many. 20. I made my first bio when I was 15. Uh huh. And uh, it was uh, 29 years ago. <laughs> yes, because I have this year. In, in a few days, I, I will be 44. Wow. Yeah. 8 June. Oh, so I, oh my God. Would you like I, a coffee? I, I, oh, yes. I would love. Oh, you have a With coffee machine. New machine. Oh, this is Italian great. One, huh? Huh? Sure. Huh? And uh, we take it. I so, turn so you learned it with the coffee machine from Edgar, or how is it? No, you just were. A little bit sick of not having any coffee. But now it's not easy going outside to take a <laughs> coffee like at the normal and, and uh, I think, uh, okay, I, I buy a small machine. Uh, I have the same one at home. Uh -huh. ah, and that's great. Yes. Oh, An espresso. It's wow. very easy to have it. And how was your impression when you came back to work here? A lot of projects, what you're going to do. I'm looking for a while to come back to work uh -huh. <laughs> after the lockdown, but was was very, very good. But you also had a, a surgery before, so you uh, were yeah, already exactly. like in, in quarantine one month before. Just, just, just in time, I have my surgery on uh -huh. the 27th uh, February. Uh -huh. And after I cannot come into work. Uh, but which is at the very uh, probably good for... for yes, uh, yes. Was, uh, or or uh, after a week I, I'm back uh, to work, but probably it was not good. Uh, it was nice for, the, for this. It was okay. better for me because I cannot stop to work. Wow, Normally. this coffee has even la cremina, you know, this cream inside. This is just <laughs> perfect how it should be, you know. I take two. One and wow. after we will show you something. Now it's full of. Yeah, we are looking forward to see the workshop, you know. No, no, apri pure. Yeah, I, I have to open, open but I have to take up. I think everybody has the same problems with these Nespresso machines, but even with the Saeco, it's the same thing. When you want to make a coffee, there is no water or <laughs> the container is full or it has to warm up, you know, it's, uh, they're too intelligent. Mm -hmm. This is more than... And so, Daniele, you are working here alone or how many uh, people are working here? No secretary? No, you make me it all by and, uh, and uh, Davide, my assistant. Okay. That is in the other room. Okay. Under work. Now I show you him. He's a very good maker, young maker. So you... He make his self uh, instrument. Uh-huh. For me, but with inside his name and everything. I think good. Very good. And uh, cheers with the coffee. <laughs> Very good, this coffee. Hmm? I have here two a nice violin uh, by Gaetano Polastri. Ah, okay. Yes. Interesting. I show you. Yes. It's always interesting, some old instrument. This is made in the 1951. Yes, Gaetano Polastri. Wow. It's a very nice, nice instrument. And it sounds also very good. I yes. also heard it already. And it's now it's really, not tuned, but, but it's a really nice instrument. Here is a typical brand. Because uh, the yeah. Polastri in, 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 in Italian is like a chicken, no? Uh huh. <laughs> Pollo, Polastri, yes. Uh -huh. And this is two chicken, no? It was two brothers. Uh, the, the Gaetano is the younger one. And our. Um, Augusto was the, the, the older one that died very young and he done made so many instruments. Gaetano made a few instruments more than the brother, but it's very, very nice. It's from Bologna. Uh -huh. 
you also you always had a little bit a uh, um, uh, passion for this kind of, of uh, yes, making. Yes, I always this period. like it. You also are very good in making ornati, exactly. uh, Garimberti, uh, uh, this kind of instruments. Daniela, the Italian really 19th century uh -huh. instrument, uh, like uh, exactly ornati, Garimberti, the Polastri, Capicchioni, this, all this maker was. It's very interesting to see. Uh -huh. Hold on, like this. This is really a nice one. Huh? Yeah, because there are so many fakes, but this is just a really nice one, and uh, it's a yes. I remember when uh, when uh, the ex owner showed me the violin when I opened the case, immediately say, "Hey, this is the last thing." Uh -huh. <laughs> immediately, it was very easy to understand because it's a typical work. Yeah, some people want to know, but how can you see if it's original? But once you know how to make an instrument, many you times it's the impression, this, no? the first... Uh, uh, you can tell from far, far away immediately. The first two seconds, okay, this is good. Instrument. And there are so many fakes, so to get a, a good one like this is really yes. uh, a fortune. Uh -huh. I have also one of the last instruments made by great master Bisolotti. Really? Wow, yes. nice. This is made in uh, 2017. 2017. Oh, this is a good investment, I, I believe. Huh? This he's is with I his also brand. Love to have. Uh -huh. Very nice. He used the personal uh, setup uh, mm -hmm. tape piece. Also, here, his brand. Okay. It's very, very. Yeah, I remember when you went there just to, to get it. Yes. Uh, I have to admit, I was a little bit jealous that you got it, but uh, this is it. Huh? Some <laughs> things you have to just to, to be quick in the right moment, and uh, yeah, that was a, but why don't a wise have some... decision. Huh? I think that every maker in Cremona needs to have some violin of the other maker, also still alive, uh, not necessarily died, no. This is the reason, because it's 10 years that I wait in the, the violin from Edgar, no? <laughs> Yes, actually, that was a long project that we always mm. wanted to make with Grisales and like this, that we each of us is making an instrument for but each I other. I have also another violin, not be... here, because I give to my friend to play, uh -huh. from uh, my master, Marco Nolli. Uh -huh. And Marco Nolli has my instrument. Ah, that's nice. Yeah, that's something. Also. And also with Stefano Conia, I would love to do that as well. This but is also, also with my closer friends. Another investment. Very good. So, so we go over we... there. Yes. I show you because we are so my, curious. Just yes. just to, to tell you how long are we here and transmitting already. This is 17, 18 minutes. 19 people are watching, and five thumbs up. So they really like you very, very much. And thank you. Wow! So this is here yeah. the workshop. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Hello, hello. Wow! This is really. This is my. This is your workbench. Work work. Yes. And you are working here, so you can. Yes. Jump up and go to Here answer I've... the phone. Wow, this is something very... Oh, ciao Davide. And this is Davide. Ciao. My assistant. Ciao. Secondo me puoi anche togliere la mascherina, sai? Sì, ma sarà giù, quindi. Ma se, se lavori tutto il giorno così, <laughs> if he wants, he can take off the, 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 the mask. So we see him in full beauty. He hasn't seen his echo. Uh, he hasn't seen his, his uh, parents for close to three months and has been locked in quarantine here in Cremona. He could go to work and check if everything is fine while Daniela was blocked at home uh, 10, 15 kilometers north from Cremona and couldn't move and uh, that was pretty tough. But Davide at least could make instruments. How many instruments did you make? Wow. Good question. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know, but he I made mean, a little bit, huh? Yes, already. Yeah. He made about... Uh, Two or three instruments in the, in the quarantine? No, maybe... No, in the quarantine, no. But, uh, he ah. feel, uh, no, because for, for some time he's stopping to... And... Uh, I don't know. He made these two. Ah, okay. It's a half size and a three quarter that we have to, to varnish now and finish. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. I also have to make a, a three-quarter for Sweden. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So is also you have this, this is made kind of by orders. him. Okay, very nice. Yes. Show me the these back. Two by, these two violins would be um, new style varnish because the customer required it. 
but normally I, I make I make uh, antique side instrument. Uh -huh. This is is varnished with a spirit varnish. Spirit or? varnish for spirit the new varnish. style. Okay. And oil varnish for the antique one. Okay. Wow. Yes. Very nice. Okay. Sorry, I interrupted you. You wanted to show me yours. What are you making here? No, don't worry. This yeah. is just. It's here. I have to 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 finish wow. the setup. This is a Guarneri Ole Bowl. I make many many instruments on this model. At that point, we have to tell to our friends that we have one mold for a yes. Guarneri Ole Bowl and we both are using the same mold because we are too lazy <laughs> exactly. to make each for us. So uh, we always have to ask if the mold is free. So Can I have it? Can you bring me the apples? <laughs> uh, but it's also fun. Come on. Huh? Yes, is, uh, uh, you know, Edgar uh, know this model and it's a strange model because nothing is normal, I think, uh -huh. but it's very big character and the sound is always uh, wow, I think. Mm -hmm. This is no. the reason because I make so many on this model. Uh, when the people listen this violin, uh, always, okay, I won't say him. Uh, okay, I do. Uh -huh. <laughs> no problem. This is also Guarneri, this is the Canon. Wow. One of the most famous. It's the, not exactly the, the, the copy original is not this nice. No, <laughs> the wood. no, no, the, the wood, no. <laughs> but all, I think also the, the, the varnish. I think it's nice uh -huh. model, quite big. Very good. But because also the varnish, I think, is not wow. I, 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 the original is, is really incredible, yeah. Yeah. So this one is. It's always nice too. Uh, the sound is different than the Ole Bull, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Tend to be bigger, but with a big character. And I think that people need to, to love it. Uh -huh. I think with this model, uh, the people, more people can like it. With this one, you have to find the, 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 the true person that like this sound. Uh -huh. And if you find it, the, 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 the true person uh, is love, I think. Big love, yeah. It's a little more for solace, I think. Mm -hmm. Because I have a really big character sound and different from from many other models, Strada or uh, Guarneri Ole Bull or uh, Lord Wilton or something other. I have to set up and uh, I think today or tomorrow we'll be ready to play also. No, this is a and nice uh, yes, many other things under work. Cello, we, wow. we, Yes, one cello made by Davide, Davide that one. This is mine. What model is it? Strat, oh, Expiati. Okay. Use that a lot. I made so many. I have also another model uh, cello that I use is a Guadagnini. Wow. Nice wood. I like and it. I think in the near future I will start one or two different models. I have two, two choices. Uh -huh. Maybe or Montagnana like a Sleepy Beauty or something like that, and or, or Ruggeri. That normally is the, the most used model. Wow, now I, I, I recognize that for a very long time I've not been here. Yes. Incredible. We huh? meet every day, but not in my workshop. Yeah, because you come always to me and then we, to my workshop and then we go for lunch. But do you know if they have opened again or? I have no idea. Uh, we have to double check, but I usually go now always home. Okay. This is nice. This is nice. Yes. I think more or less we have said everything. What do you think? Is there something else you want to, to let people oh, know? Here is everything. We have to work, we have to finish so many instruments and we have to be ready for the near future. <laughs> for the we near hope. future. Yeah, we're looking we forward to, to visit again the China uh, for, for, yeah, for the show. Yeah, but meanwhile we can send instruments, right? Oh, we can send everywhere, and, I and think. And if now somebody is not happy, it's, uh, exactly. we can adjust it and, and they can change it later or, or things like this. So I think so. I think it's, uh, we have to be all a little bit more flexible. Things are changing and probably will never return yes. exactly the same way how it was before. But it helps us to to become even better and better. Absolutely. And use our cell phone to make nice videos yes. <laughs> from the instrument, how it sounds. We can send it to our customers, all this kind of thing. So I think it's, it's also interesting. 
Yes, I think oh, so. That's nice. I think. Okay. Can get the normal situation uh, soon and uh, obviously Oops, was sorry. always nice visit the fair in, in China or, or the everywhere. Yeah. Now we cannot, but we can sell and send the instrument everywhere because everything uh, starts again, uh, the shipping uh, and everything I saw. Uh, I, I, I receive a message from Australia now uh -huh. from a customer that need a viola, small viola and something like this. And he asked me, but you can send? Yes, absolutely. We can ship it yeah. without a problem. It's normal. Oh, I, I, Obviously, it's always nice have a contact with, with the people, Certainly. with the player. Uh, but now, for a few times, we cannot. And uh, But I think we'll be soon again, no? Yeah. Hmm? That is good. And in any case, we, we continue to make instruments for to be ready for meet you with more instruments than, the, than before, maybe. Why not? We're doing our best here, okay? Absolutely, we'll yes. You but can see that we don't stop. Two violins almost ready to my violin, but I have also the other two small violin. Another violin, hey, another violin. Can you take your uh, instrument, Davide? Because now it's in, it's, uh, in the box light uh, to dry ah. the varnish. Ah, okay. The violin made by, by So he, he was really busy, huh? While you uh, had your surgery busy. and <laughs> yeah. no, well, after, after 70 but days uh, stop, uh, all by himself, he was obviously really many was already started before the lockdown and now we, we are ready to finish and continue. So uh -huh. No problem. I think we Be can very good. get better. I show you the last instrument here made by David. It's good to, 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 to show you. Perfectly. Uh -huh. This is a Strad model. Uh -huh. We make so many. He made so many instruments on this model. Uh -huh. Because it's always nice. Someone say that it's for students. It's not only for students. I think also the professional player can play a, this kind of instrument. And this is oil varnished. This is oil varnish uh -huh. too. Ah, so yes. you also use two types of varnishes, which is interesting. I think it's always good yes. to not yes, to, yes, yes. to focus only on one thing, but be a little bit more open. Uh -huh. This is almost ready, just to dry the varnish here to the end uh -huh. of the neck, uh, just because we, we put the neck inside after varnish. We okay. uh, varnish normally the, the case and the, and the neck separate, and after we, we make it, now the setup is uh, ready. I think the bridge is ready. The pack uh -huh. is ready. It's yes. here. And uh, I don't know, today or tomorrow it's ready to play. Also this one. Very nice. Yes. This is the wood we, we bought together. Oh, really? It's a very old one. Uh -huh. It's uh, something like 30, 35 years old. Yeah. No? I remember we bought a big stock of, of wood which yes. was well seasoned. And probably the top two. Uh -huh. so we cut. Together, <laughs> you yes. remember many years ago, 15 years ago. We bought a few trees together 15 years ago. Oh my God. 15 years ago, Time 2005. Yeah. I have already the wood, that wood, that <laughs> spruce. Uh -huh. Me too. For the top. Super. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, in half an hour, I'm going to transmit from the workshop from. Uh, Stefano Trabucchi. Okay, next time. And uh, we all know each other very well. We are in good uh, relations. And uh, I think this is an interesting uh, happening we're doing here. Okay. Thank you. Stay tuned. Half an hour. I'm back again. Bye-bye. Thank bye. you very much. Hope to see you soon. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. Ciao, bye, ciao. Bye-bye.